The furry community has brought us a lot of good shit. It has also brought us a lot of bad shit. But today, me and my dick is gonna talk to you about gender in the YIF community. Now, the YIF community is absurdly uncreative when it comes to gender. You can basically put like 99% of all art into like one of six categories. We have male and female, which is, you know, vanilla, the, the classics, right? And that's cool. Then we have futa or dick girls, which is pretty much what it sounds like. It is girl with a cock. Then we got female herms, which is more or less monopolized the herm business. Male herms also exist, but it's like... They, they, they practically don't. If, if you look at, at like the tag count on E6, it, it's pretty pathetic. You know, my, my sympathy towards people that like male herms and cunt boys, but like, they're, they're just kind of like the neglected childs of like the, the, the unique variations of intersex in the YIF community. But today, we can talk about none of those motherfuckers. Today, we're gonna talk about hermaphrodites, or rather, the lack thereof. Allow me to start with a story. One day, when I was inspecting the archives of E621, I was probably browsing the feed tag because I'm fucking nasty, and I happened across a picture which caught my eye. There was two hermaphrodites fucking, but one of them was androgynous. One of them was not clearly either male or female. And that made me think, hey, androgynous hermaphrodites, is that a thing? Spoiler alert, it wasn't. But then that raises the question, why is this not a thing? Because this is hacking awesome. Now, I don't mean to talk shit about female herms or foodsap, but... Female herms and foodset to me has always been kinda like getting sand stuck in your foreskin. It's not a pleasant experience, it's not something that I or I think anyone enjoys, it's just sort of tiresome and it's fucking constantly there whenever you browse anything even mildly MLP related. I swear there is so much fucking food as shit in MLP 3D animations, it's fucking nuts. In an attempt to make androgynous hermaphrodite shit a thing, I will now share literally anything I can think of that is related to androgynous hermaphrodites. By the way, I have a shit memory and I am, I've had a little bit to drink tonight if it wasn't already apparent, so I am a hundred percent gonna forget something. If you have anything related to androgynous hermaphrodites, by the way, post it in the comments because I would probably like to jack off to it. So let's start with the picture I mentioned in the, the story thingy, right? You'd, it would seem like this would be a good place to start because we have an androgynous hermaphrodite, but I did a little bit of research on it and turns out this character is actually called Sasha and is a female herm who was drawn as like, oddly androgynous in just this picture for some reason. I don't know. I looked a bit, uh, I, I did a little bit more digging on E6, and E6 doesn't have an androgynous hermaphrodite tag, not that I know of at least. And I mean, if E6 doesn't have a tag for it, then you know it's bad. Now, I did manage to find this character called Kawa, who is an androgynous hermaphrodite. I, I think this character might be it. Maybe there is some, like, a bit more on E6, but this is all that I've been able to dig up so far. In Armors, uh, there is actually, during the, uh, the, the, the route with the, the girl that cosplays Renum, and I forgot, Sky, she's called Sky. So on the, on Sky's route in the first date, there is, the player gets bullied, and if you uh, choose to be a her, an, an androgynous hermaphrodite, you can play as one of those in Amorous, by the way. Then you will actually get bullied with a specific reference to 
and uh, a past related to being an androgynous hermaphrodite. This is so stupid. Stupidly specific, and I'm not even sure if this is just a uh, like a dialogue interaction from if the player chooses to be a trans character that the the armors team just recycled in case of intersex characters. But uh, it it seems relevant, and it was pretty neat thing is. In Para 4, you can choose to play as an androgynous hermaphrodite, although it's really just, like, the game offers you to customize your genitals fully, so you can just pick cock and pussy, and then they pronouns, so... It, you know, it's it's not as much the game has a specific option for this, as much as it just lets you customize thingy. Still, I mean, it's it's something, and... I'm really fucking scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I did manage to come across another individual on Discord who liked androgynous arms, though again they didn't have any art. Also, I did, I actually have an OC. I, I don't think I mentioned this a lot. It, granted, it's not one that I use a lot, but it, I have this old piece of shit pinned in uh, on like the Virginity Clan Discord server, which is of an OC I made, which is an androgynous hermaphrodite. And that actually sums up it. It's legitimately that little content we have of androgynous hermaphrodites. And that really gets me like, why, why the fuck is like no one made this a thing yet? You know, it's just draw porn and then draw porn and then repeat till it's a thing. Androgynous hermaphrodites make more porn. My dick is unsatisfied. Eat your vegetables.